Hello and welcome to the 37th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at nav with dropdown. We'll be using the source code from the 33rd tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a nav setup. Bootstrap allows us to include dropdowns within our nav, which is very useful. To implement it, it's pretty simple. Let's show you the code. You essentially need a dropdown, which is covered earlier in this series, inside a list item. So just go ahead and open up your HTML file in a text editor. And if we scroll down here, so we have a list item right here. Oh, we have several list items, I should say, right here. And what we're going to do is just create a whole new list item. So we're going to do li. Row is going to be presentation. It's going to have a class of drop down. Again, all of this was covered earlier in the series. Then inside here what we're going to have is an anchor tag and this is going to have a class of drop down toggle and then its data toggle is going to be drop down. Gonna have a href of just hash, we don't want it to do anything, and then roll so move over is button. And the last thing is area expanded equals false. Let's move back over, close off the anchor tag. And inside here, what we're going to be doing is put in a drop down, basically the carrot, which it conveys to the user visually that this is a drop down. So we'll put drop down, this won't visually appear though. What will visually appear is our span, which has a class of carrot. Close off the span. And now what we have to do is just literally just create our drop down menu, aka the list items that appear. So to do that, you create an unordered list. Inside here, you have a class of drop down menu. You have a row, which is menu. UL, and then here we're going to have a list item. And the list item, we're going to have a href to have an angle bracket. A href equals, it's going to make equal to nothing. Close off the anchor tag, and inside we're going to put item 1. And what I'm going to do is copy and paste these and just change to item 2, 3, and 4. So, if we try to update this, save it. And now, if we open this in our web browser, you'll see we have our nav, plus we also have a drop down at the end. And if we click it, it drop down like any other regular drop down. So, it's that simple to include a drop down within your nav. As an extra task, implement this in a nav with tabs instead of pills. The next tutorial will cover nav bars. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.